Welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, I am at Cummins Generator Shop, and today they're going to be reinstalling my generator back into my van. Um, they took my generator out, fixed the problem, but they had to order parts from Tennessee. They got those parts, they fixed it, and now today they're reinstalling it. It's been a long journey with that generator. I think I've been without the generator for almost a month, and it's been a month of just it's just been hot and humid. I survived, but I'm but it just I'm glad it's almost over. He did warn me that it's gonna be at a minimum four hour job or three hour job, but it could be a little longer. I said it's okay. He said it is difficult getting it back in, getting it set. It's a lot of stuff they have to do, so I understand. What else? So after that, I'm done with my van. Um, I'll see you guys shortly. Um, hopefully when my van is done and I am out of here and, uh, yeah, see you guys in a bit. You guys hear that? That is pure AC. It feels so good in here. Oh, my generator is fixed. You have no idea how much I've suffered the last month without this generator. How much my refrigerator has suffered. Ah, oh, the heat, the humidity. So I'm gonna put my stuff up and I'm gonna come back on and tell you guys what was wrong. Okay, so let me tell you real quickly what was going on uh, with my generator. Um, so I talked to the tech uh, and he told me that the mechanics told him that there's two parts to the generator. There's the generator and then there's the harness, which is like all the wiring and everything inside of the generator, which is the motor. Uh, he said my entire generator was bad. I was like, how? I haven't even had the generator... I, I haven't even had this RV a year. He goes, it could have been bad parts in the manufacturing, uh, cheap parts, bad parts, things like that. Not cheap parts necessarily, but bad parts. So he said the entire system, set system of the generator was bad. So they put a brand new generator in and a harness, which is wiring and everything is brand new. He said, uh, without my warranty, I would have probably came out of pocket about $2,500. I'm so grateful and thankful that I have a four year extended warranty. Um, I've been traveling really slow, um, trying not to drive a, a bunch of places every day, just trying to stretch my miles out and just, just try to just enjoy my travel and not be so go, go, go. But we're back in action. Generator works. Um, he gave me a manual too, which is much better than Thor's manual. And it, he marked the place and stuff, but it, I'm going to read this manual. Um, he gave me this manual. It is the RV generator handbook. It tells you maintenance, when you're supposed to do it, at how many hours, everything. It's a guide. And so I will definitely be reading this in addition to manuals uh, from the Thor, that what Thor gave me, to just so I can know my RV a little bit better. But um, yeah, everything's done. Oh man, it just feels so much better in here. The lights are brighter. Everything is brighter. Man, I'm so happy my generator is, oh my gosh, I'm so happy the generator Still works. at the generator place, but I'm uh, coming. I'm getting ready to leave here in a bit, but um, what's on the agenda for the rest of the day? I'm not really doing much for the rest of the day. Like I said, I'm, I try my best not to travel so much I can, so I can try to save money on gas and uh, not put so many miles on my van. Also, uh, I have been thinking about my route. Uh, and, and where I want to go and I pretty much have a general idea of where I'm going to go. I already know the state It's just a matter of where I'm going to go uh, kind of in that state for BLM lands and just 
where I'm going to go for that. And a couple of things I do want to do in that state. And then after I do those couple things, well, one big thing I want to do in the next state that I'm going to, and then it's just going to be slow living, BLM lands, you know, treading myself and getting my endurance up and do a lot of hiking. Uh, I do got to get some bear spray. Uh, I do got to get a hiking, a walking stick, just prepare myself um, for you know my journey my travels so things i don't have um but uh for the rest of the day i'm My generator cut off. It says fault. Oh man, it just never fails. Oh man, it just never fails. Oh. So y'all heard that my generator just cut off and it says fault. See the red? I just don't have the best of luck, do I? Do I? I don't have the best of luck at all. Let's see if it starts. It says starting. I was just in earlier uh, this morning uh, to get my generator uh, placed back in to my RV after you guys kept it for a while to to uh, fix it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a new generator um, and a new harness. And I only ran it for not even five minutes and it cut off and it says fault. There's a brand new generator we just installed in there. Cut off and had a fault flashing on it? Yes. Um, from what I was told, the generator is brand new. Um, the generator that I had in here was, uh, I guess, it was um, broken. So y'all replaced it with a brand new one and a new harness. And uh, I hadn't even run the generator for five minutes. And uh, it, it, it stopped working and it just it said fault. It stopped. And then I tried to start it and it just struggles to start. It started once and then it cut off. I just talked to someone that works there and he said if I can get to them before four o'clock they'll have somebody take a look at it. Uh, thankfully I'm still in the general vicinity hanging out. I'm about about 25 minutes out so we're going back to uh, Cummings. You know I'm exhausted, I'm tired but you know what this is uh this is what living on the road looks like. Um, I don't care who you watch, um, who you follow. Um, if they are a full-time RVer that travels full-time like I do, there's bound to be problems. Don't think that you're gonna get a new RV, even if it's not a Thor. Don't think that a Mercedes Sprinter or a full custom build is not gonna give you problems. If you're traveling on the road every day with your home, even if it's to the gym and back or get gas or food, it doesn't matter. There's bound to be problems. This is what full-time RV looks, van life looks like. This is what full-time van life, living on the road, actually driving and traveling looks like. I'm not talking about living full-time in your van or RV in your stationary on a campground or you never go anywhere. No, if you're full-time traveling, this is what it looks like. This is a realistic van life 
journey. <laughs> there are going to be ups and downs, um, a roller coaster of emotions. Um, it is what it is. So on the back on the road we go. Um, I just filled up my tank and I've been trying my best not to drive, but we got to get there before four. So let's beat this traffic and uh, let's go back to Cummins. So um, I'm getting ready to leave Cummins and I was told it was a fault code 35 or 36, I can't remember. And he basically said anytime that fault code drops, either a 35 or a 36, I couldn't remember which number, that it just means that it just randomly shut off. Uh, it just, a power randomly just decided to shut off for no reason. Um, he said that the mechanic went back, took everything apart. Um, he said it, it could mean too that it shut off because when I brought the van back, they ran the generator and it quickly shut off on them. And he said it, it's a possibility that the generator didn't finish, didn't get a long enough prime or didn't prime before I left. They didn't prime it long enough, which means just getting the fuel through the fuel lines of the generator. And so he took the, line, the fuel lines out, cleared them out, made sure there was no debris, looked at the filter, everything looked good, everything was clean, looked at the generator, there was no problems. And now it's running again. He said it's, the generator's been running for 25 minutes with no problems. And he said if it shuts down again, he said give him a call. But I think at this point they've done everything they can given the fact that it is a brand new generator. So I'm hoping it was a priming issue, but I'm about to show you real quick that the generator is on and it is working. Here we go. You hear it? So it's on and it's working. So I'm about to come in, cut it off, and uh, pray and cross my fingers and hope for the best because I just, I'm over it. I really am. So let's see everything in here is working again. Um, you see if you go here no fault you hear the ac's on so everything's running so i'm hoping that it wasn't primed all the way and uh he said there should be a prime button he doesn't really know these rvs very well there there is none um i can i'm gonna do some research and see if there's a prime button on the the manual or the uh keypad or anything but i've been through everything there is about that generator i didn't see any priming button or way to prime it so that's the update it's working again and uh, let's cross our fingers and hope for the best okay so before i get started with my storage i'm really going to try to move pretty quickly because i do have a lot to do today um and i gotta make my way like i said uh to an area where um closest to the area of my doctor's appointment tomorrow because if you anybody knows anything about the VA while my appointment is at nine in the morning I need to get to the VA hospital when it opens up so that I can get parking because if I'm not there if I come at nine there'll be no parking like outdoor parking they have tons of garage parking but my van doesn't fit so I need to leave and get there right when they open at seven but there is a question I get I saw in some of my videos uh, why do you have a storage unit? I thought you got rid of your storage unit in Michigan. And I'm assuming, you know, that you're new, but you haven't been following all of my videos. And I got the storage unit because I was getting my bathroom renovated, redone. And so I said, hey, let me just clear everything out of here, put it in storage, go back through it to see if there's anything else I can donate um, before I re-upload everything, before I upload, upload like it's a video, before I put everything back into my van. So I just got it for the purposes of downsizing further and moving everything out of the van, which I'm glad I did. So um, will I be doing this every time I have to get my van worked on or if somebody has to keep my van for a couple days? No, I'm not going to do no storage unit anymore. I, this was just a one-time thing. Um, and I'm glad I did because I was able to kind of get rid of a uh, little more things but anyways, I don't want to waste any more time talking. So, uh, it's my phone. Where's the key? Where's my key? I just had my key. Where the freak is my key? Oh, here it is. Okay. 
Oh, let's get this party started. All right, I will see you guys um, shortly. Let me get my storage together. So I accomplished something big. I <clears throat> I used to have two of these. Now I have one. I opened up another one. Put this AC on. I turned my generator on. It's hot. Okay. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Sorry, but this is a uh, van life. It's hot. So this is gonna go donate. So what was in here? All of my like Tylenol. Um, I had some. Um, um, I had some Tylenol in here. I had some, my bath salts. Everything. Now that my medic medicine cabinet is fixed and I have a way to keep it closed when I drive, I was able to put all this in the medicine cabinet, and now I could donate this, and now I'm saving more space. So what's next? Um, so what I noticed about the bathroom is when. Sorry, that's my fan. When the guy put my bathroom together, he switched up the drawers. This drawer is supposed to go up here and this is supposed to go down here. It's okay, but um, this drawer is empty. I got some shorts in here, but I'm gonna start putting my clothes back in here. It's got those stains and stuff because I have my dishes in here, but it's okay. So I'm gonna start putting my clothes back in here and start, oh, I got the child safety lock on this now because when he switched the drawers, this drawer no longer stays closed, it opens. So I'm just gonna release it. I'm pressing the button, release it, and then I'm gonna start loading up dishes and silverware and stuff in here. So I've got clothes in here and here that I'm gonna remove and put in here. I also got some hoodies that I don't need, and I'm gonna put the hoodies that I don't need, I'm gonna store them up there until I get to a climate where it's colder, we'll all need it. And then this is messed up, so this is gonna go in the trash. I'm not keeping it. So once I get in here together, oh, let me show you. In here is empty. I have my pillow and then I have noodles. You always gotta be prepared, right? Noodles is one thing that you can cook with hot water or eat them raw. So I do have noodles. And uh, so now I will be getting um, this bathroom together. So once it's done, I'll come back on and show you. My goal is not to have a lot of stuff in this bathroom. Um, what I wanna do, let's go outside really quick. Let's go outside. I want to show you what I'm trying to do. Uh, you can't really hear my generator because it's muffled by their stuff. But let, let me show you what I want to do um, real quick. Let me open up the back. This is my what I want to do. And I hope it fits. We're going to make it fit. Okay. What I want to do... Okay, first of all, remember when I tell, was telling you guys in my previous video that there are two ways to shower. Here's the second, the first way to shower is the, you see the shower connection right there. The second way to shower is this little connector right here. They gave me a hose that connects in here and water comes out of here. And I can shower in the wild using this spray port. And this is what I'll be using. And you just turn on the water pump right here. And I also have a light. I don't know where this light goes, but I need to figure it out. But okay, and then there's charging ports and things like that. But I want to use this kind of cubby hole. Wow, it's all tore up in here. It's okay. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to wash, clean this out really good. And I hope my hose fits in here. That's where I want to put my hose in here. And my um, shore power uh, hose in here. And my water hose in here. I'm hoping it fits. Cross my fingers, but I should get it to fit. And that way I won't have my bathroom being exposed. I do have a container here. People ask me, how do you use the bathroom if you don't use your toilet? I have a container that I used to pee in. Um, as far as going number two, I always make sure I'm in an area where I could just drive and go. Um, 
But if I'm desperate, desperate times calls for desperate measures. I do have things where I line my toilet with that I can use the bathroom with. So there's that. I'm always prepared, but let's get this party started. That's what I wanted to show you guys, if, just in case I forget. Dang it. So, and my water hose right now is inside of a green container. Remember that green container I put in my storage? This is all dirty laundry that I'm gonna put in here. I'm calling Cummings guys because when my generator runs I I hear a loud rattling and I'm not for that. No. I have an update, so I called back and he told me that you know he could get me in Thursday, so we'll see what it is Thursday. Right now it's working. It's running, there's no, uh, you know, it's running, it's working, but I'm still taking this appointment because I, I literally, I told him, I'm not about to be traveling and this generator just stops working. I don't care that it's working now, but it's, it's, it's a process of fault, no fault, fault, no fault. So I'm not, I'm not comfortable with that. He, oh, frustrated. I'm done, I'm done. So this is what I have bike uh once i get my bike rack i'll put it back on my van um all this is donate and this is recycled so i'm done uh let me close up here and i'll show you inside uh my van and what it's looking like because i'm done in there too van is done and reorganized so i got my stuff up there that i don't use very often um that's just for dishes and washcloths and stuff to clean dishes with. Um, that's gonna stay there. Um, in the past, I had it in the bathroom, but I'll keep it here. Um, everything else is organized. Um, we're all good there. And then, let's turn the light on for the bathroom. Bathroom's done. Towels and stuff hanging up. That's trash down there. There's my uh, laundry. And then, and there's, is all organized. Uh, this is what I use to lock the cabinet, just to keep, you know, nosy people out of my cabinet. I don't care if they break in and get whatever out, but uh, while I can still prevent it, I just throw a lock on it. Like if I don't wanna carry my everyday bag around with me or anything like that, I just throw it in there, lock it up, and we're done. I'll see you guys when I'm on the road. Uh, shower and workout time.
I just buy what I'm gonna eat for meat for the day. I know it seems a little counterproductive, but until my generator gets fixed, I don't wanna keep meat in my refrigerator because my battery, my coach battery goes below 12 volts at night and I don't wanna to have to worry about cranking the vehicle up to keep the refrigerator going. So don't get me wrong, in the morning, when I do wake up, my refrigerator still is cold. You know, there's still some, you know, the free freezer still has ice and stuff. It's a tiny bit melted, not too much, tiny bit, but still, I just don't want to take a risk not with meat. So hopefully the generator will be fixed in a couple days. I did call. This is dinner. This is uh, shredded steak. Um, that hot, spicy, uh, what is it called? Like a sausage queso. And then Greek yogurt at the bottom. So, and then I use these um, uh, zero carb, uh, low calorie, um, uh, what are these, tortillas? All right, first bite goes to you. Now, my turn. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. These uh, tortillas are pretty good. Um, I'm not, I told you guys in the past a long time ago, I'm not a fan of tortillas because I'm so used to, when I used to eat tortillas as a kid, they were, um, 
made from scratch. So when I eat tortillas out of a package, to me, they taste stale. That's why you never see me ever make burritos or eat them because it looks, tastes stale. And I'm, I'm not going to make my own. But these don't taste too bad when I put them in the pan and warmed them up. Mm-hmm. Today was just uh, just a long day. My generator does not work. It still it says fault, which I'm not I'm not gonna fret over it. This is so good, actually. These little tortillas are not bad. Um, I use Greek yogurt for everything. Um, plain, non-fat Greek yogurt. <clears throat> it has a lot of like live active cultures in it. A lot of healthy benefits. It's got like 15 grams of protein. I mean, 80 calories. Like it's, it, for me, it's a better alternative than using starches like rice and pastas. And, um, I eat Greek yogurt with my meal now. Sometimes I put frozen raspberries in it with a little bit of honey on top. But for the last couple meals, I've just been eating it plain with steak and seafood, or just with steak. I like these uh, tortillas, zero carbs, uh, low fat tortillas. They're actually they're actually good. They don't have a stale taste to it. I know I don't eat like a typical, like you would think a normal, whatever normal is, or a typical person, but this is how I eat. I mean, I like to try different things, mixing different flavors, seasonings, and I like my food to have a lot of heat, hot, spice, seasonings. That's how I've always been. Mmm. <clears throat> You'd be surprised how many uh, sauces are made from non-fat plain Greek yogurt. A lot of sauces are made, healthy sauces are made from using Greek yogurt, plain. Mm-hmm. This is really good. I'm not even gonna lie. This is nice. I have to be up early. I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. If anybody knows about the VA, you gotta you gotta get in there pretty early. So today, although I was a bit frustrated, I got a lot done. My storage is empty, with the exception of my bike, and I'm so glad I didn't bring my bike out because it is raining. Um, my bike cover is here. I just got to go to my P.O. box sometime this week and pick it up and close down my P.O. box and um, go get my bike and cover it up and put it on, back on the rack. And, you know, everything's coming together. And I, like I said, the things that have been happening to me, um, even though my RV has been giving me some problems, the interior and stuff, like I said, the bathroom, I didn't buy it like that. Uh, General RV in Michigan, when they were trying to replace my 
um, medicine cabinet, they cracked my shower tub. And when they replaced my medicine cabinet, they installed it wrong, which cracked the side of my um, wall. So all of that was person error. That wasn't something I bought like that and just didn't notice it. So yeah, I know it seems like I have a lot of problems, but that right there was brought on by someone else's mistake. And the thing is, you have to be prepared for these things. You know, you just gotta dust yourself off, get it done and move on and make sure you have an extended warranty. I learned that and I'm glad I have it. Like I said, four years. Um, uh, I know I, I traveled a lot of miles this year, but I won't be doing that in, going forward. Uh, it was exciting. I had my RV. I saw all of Michigan, traveled a lot of the lakes, went a lot of places, traveled a lot of places in Florida. But going forward, I won't be uh, traveling like that. I told myself, you know, what's, what's the rush? You know, just relax and live your life. Uh, you know, pick your, few, your, your favorite states or the states you've always wanted to visit and just enjoy each state take some time and just get acclimated and you know live live in the state and just enjoy it and i want to pick up hiking and so that's what i'm going to start doing uh i, I don't want to do it in florida i tried it but i'm a little bit you know nervous about kind of the wildlife and stuff that's out and the 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 you know hiking trails and there is water and a lot of these trails and you know where there's water there's alligators and foot traffic and people and i'm not about to deal with that so but um all in all today i pretty successful day even though the generator doesn't work i am not i'm not upset it's a bit frustrating doctor's appointment tomorrow and then i'm free after that and then um yeah that's it guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here uh finish off my uh little mini tortilla i don't know what you call it little mini tortillas <laughs> and uh, rest up because i gotta be up pretty early um for my appointment i gotta and if, if 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 anybody out there knows about the va it's just uh it's a long process but uh i'll tell you what it's better now than it was back then so i appreciate you guys hanging out with me um coming along uh the positivity you know the humbleness of the community um your interactions your stories just everything the liking the videos showing up and showing out thank you it means the world to me i appreciate you guys more than you know i have the best community on youtube but i'm out thanks for watching and as always i will see you guys in my next video take care Peace.